Alrighty folks, so we're going to work on changing out reel strip number three on this uh, Mills Gold Nugget. And this is the strip we're going to put on there. Notice the extra amount at the top. Uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and get a pencil. And what I want to do is I want to line up the orange and the plum, make sure everything's looking nice and copacetic there. And then I want to make a mark at the top so that I can trim off the excess at the top. Um, also notice on the bottom, you've got a little bit of excess. Uh, that that uh, CH-3A, I will tuck in behind uh, the part up here. So uh, I'm just kind of looking to see if I've got enough to be able to do that. And sure enough, uh, I don't know how well you can see there, but um, I'm going to go ahead and bring it up here. And so if you were to... Uh, line that up uh, where those two lemons are that uh, CH3A will slide right down inside of that so I'm not too fussed about that I'm gonna go ahead and set this back on the stand and we're gonna go ahead that's kind of step one is knowing where I need to cut it and I'm gonna go ahead and cut nice and straight make sure it's a nice square cut and there we go there we go it looks nice and square yep all right folks so that's it ready to go the next thing we want to do is you know again we did mark these with tape uh, to know where the real strips end i did go ahead and start getting uh using the the wedge ended pliers to can you see the wedge there and that way you can kind of pry up the ends. So really the next thing I need to do is go ahead and get this thing to stroke. Um, to do that, you can use, they actually make a uh, device, a piece that will fit over this and be able to, to stroke it. Uh, but if you put your screwdriver in here and pull down, it's not gonna go now, it's gonna lock because I've got, it's checking for a coin and it's not there. So I'm gonna reach and kind of hold this piece right here uh, while I do that and that will simulate having a coin in there okay I'm gonna stop it there because um, I need to grab one more thing to be ready for this is I'm gonna need to stop the timer and the timer is in here uh, let's see if we can get you to see that uh, you see where the fan blades are in here I'm gonna stop those blades from turning as soon as I, as I pull the screwdriver all the way down. All right, so I'm gonna have this in here, set it there. We're gonna go ahead and stroke. There we go, it kicks. My crescent wrench is working perfectly for that. And you see how nice and smooth all these are? That's good, that means they're running nice and smoothly on the shaft. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is make sure that tape stays on. That would be a problem if it didn't. And I'm just gonna kinda go through and look to see if I can find any other crimp spots. Like I've got one here. And I'm gonna crimp this up a little bit more. Um, that looks okay. Just kinda going through the whole set. And it looks like I managed to get all of them. I'm just gonna run my fingers along that. Okay, well, let's go ahead and see if the strip will come out all the way around. And what we're doing is I'm just kind of keeping pressure on the middle as I pull it out, kind of bending it just a hair. And there's that wonderful sticker that's there. And let's go ahead and Keep going. It even had, uh, that's interesting. It even has some different uh, real strip markings. It says there RP-991-158. Uh, that may be what the uh, other company uh, labeled them as. But we're gonna go ahead and take that out of there. And, oops, where to go? That is the old real strip. Still in pretty good shape. If you wanted to reuse it, you could, but again, with that little sticker on there, I don't know that I would want to use it. All right, so out with the old. 
And let's go. We've got our tape here again, and it keeps wanting to come undone in the back. Okay. And the question is, there's also a notch that's in there. Um, what I'm gonna do, because I don't wanna bend this thing, I'm gonna go ahead, I don't wanna bend the real strip. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up right here at the, at the, uh, the notch. And what that will do, I hope, Okay, let's see here. That should allow me to go in with the bell. And I should be able to kind of push it along the whole way. I'm just gonna kind of let it go on up. If it starts to get a little snug, I'll push with my thumb again. And it ought to be coming around here pretty quick. Okay, let's see here. And it is, good, good, good. It's starting to get a little taut, that's fine. Okay, so let's see. Go ahead and push it around a little bit more. Now, what I want to see is if I can get it back out. Let me go ahead and crimp a little bit more here. Here. So really, I want to just kind of lift the uh, that bell out a little bit. So we're just going to tilt that, and I'm hoping that will allow me to reach back in here. Oh, it's going to be difficult. Okay, we'll do it a different way. We're going to grab this one and bend it up. Not too worried about bending it, folks, because it, it will bend back very easily. All right, so pull that out, pull this. I just wanted to tuck it back underneath, okay? And then I want to be able to pull it a little bit or push it a little bit. Go ahead and get that back in the little notch. Okay, if you can see, that's where our tape is. We've got to go a little bit more. What I'm doing is I'm kind of pushing with the back end and I'm putting it back up there. All right, so I also said one of the things I wanted to do is find the beginning of both of the other strips just to be able to make sure everything is lining up the way I hope it would. So if I go with the top of each strip, the bell, and then I'm just gonna run it around just to make sure that it looks like everything is lining up nice and straight. That's a good sign. All right, so with that, I'm gonna grab these other pliers, which are, let's see if you can see, they're a pointed tip rather than a wedge tip. Uh, how about there? Now what I wanna do is I wanna kinda of hold that there, and I want to grab around, bend it down, and I wanna crimp it. Okay, and that's to try to lock it in, because the last thing that you really want to see is where you try to kick the, the machine off again, and the inertia makes those shift, and then you gotta do everything lying back up again. So, what I'm gonna be doing for the rest of the little bit is I'm just gonna bend that back down, uh, and I will go and crimp it probably every fourth character or so. Look at there, here. Let me go ahead and show for the owner what the, uh, where's it at, here we go, oh, this way. There's what the new gold nugget looks like in the real strip. So just imagine as it goes around. All right, so I'm not gonna bore you with all the lovely details. Uh, I am just gonna go ahead and stop it here. Again, all I'm gonna do now is bend these back over and put the crimpers, and that's all there is to that and I'll go ahead and work on the other reels another time. That's it for now. Bye-bye, folks.